Hello there, welcome back. Um, today we're gonna uh, continue on from our last video uh, where we had went to Lowe's, we took a quick trip there and we explored all the options that we have um, on the side of seeds. While I was there, I picked up this greenhouse kit and it says that it's for tomatoes and vegetables but it also has the flower um, indicated there as well. So we are going to plant up some lavender true and some salvia blue uh, better sage. And in two videos ago, I had mentioned that I wanted to do beautiful salvia or lavender, some beautiful lavender colored flowers along the side of the path on the side of my house. We're gonna go out in a little bit and I'm going to show you guys the area again and I'm gonna ask for your opinion on what I should do over there. But we picked up this um, little kit with having in mind that we wanted to be able to start things from seeds and I thought that this would give me the best um, success, like to be able to um, start from seed because in the past I always use it use seedlings or starts um, to be able to um, you know get whatever plants that I was uh, growing going so this is my first time attempting it uh, starting from seed so I'll just walk you through the process and you'll be able to see what I'm doing and hopefully we're able to get these uh, seeds germinated and be able to get some nice uh, healthy plants that will save us so much money because a pack of seeds, um, the salvia was $1.99 and the lavender was $2.79 and we have tons of seeds in here. So if we're not successful with germinating this batch, we can always start another one. So that's a plus. So we'll get started. So if you're watching and you haven't already subscribed and you like what you're seeing, I hope that you subscribe. And also if you're enjoying, please give this video a thumbs up. Okay, so I just read the instructions and it says to place uh, the pellets in water tr uh, tight tray and add one and a half inches of warm water and it just says to drain um, excess water when pellets are two to two and a half inches tall so I just have the warm water here the pellets itself are about an inch and I just decided that I think I'm only going to use half of them at this time. So I'm just going to remove eight of them from the tray. And then we're going to get started um, with adding the water and getting started with planting these seeds. this is your first time by at the end of the video I'm going to be doing a recap of all of the projects that we've done thus far so you can check those videos out if you like okay so look how these things have plumped up I think we are ready so the next thing that we're supposed to do is drain off all the excess water so that's what we're going to do so if any of you have ever used this type of greenhouse before, because it's a very common um, greenhouse, leave me your suggestions in the comments and let me know what you used it to grow.
Okay, so the instructions is just saying to peel back the mesh. And to fluff the peat moss. So we're going to get started with the lavender first and it's saying that we need to plant about two to three seeds per cell and I wanted to do four, four salvia and four of the lavender. These seeds are super small. So we'll get those in there. We're putting in more than three or four. So we'll just have to thin as we go. And for the lavender, this is the one that's saying an eighth of an inch uh, deep. So pretty much that is that it needs light to be able to germinate. So I'm just moving it around slightly to just slightly cover it. It doesn't help that the color of the seeds and the color of the peat moss is the same thing, but we will see. Okay, then the next one is the salvia. So these seeds are just as small. And pretty much the same color. <laughs> So we're just going to use these labels that were provided. Okay, so already I see that I made a mistake. I did not use this packet. So when I do the next uh, six of them or eight of them, I'm gonna use this packet. So now we're just gonna put the dome on it.
So now that we have our uh, seedlings uh, planted, this is the area where we're going to add them in. So here on the right hand side, we just want to flank the pathway. This is how uh, this area looked um, last uh, summer. So it is bare right now. So what I was trying to figure out was if I should add in some of these um, stones that I have stashed underneath this planter. I'm just basically removing a portion of it. I wanted to lay it out um, on the side path to just see if I like the way that it's going to look. And while I'm over here, I'm just going to pull out some of the weeds. I'm going to take out these old um, path lights. And I just want to be able to just give you guys a quick peek as to like what my thinking is going to be for this side area and then this will be a project that we work on within the next month or so. So first, as soon as it gets warm, we're going to use the surface cleaner to be able to power wash all of the flagstone. Now, the stones that I'm adding down there, they were in like soil, so they're extremely dirty right now. But once I lay out this uh, little portion, and right now I'm just removing um, the dead uh, canna lily blooms from last year and trying to clean it up a little. I'm also just moving out um, any of the weeds and any of like the leaves that are still in the area so that when I come back and I clean off uh, the stones a little, you'll be able to get like a visual. So basically I was thinking about five to six inches of this white um, stone on both sides of the, of the um, little bed. So right now there are stones on the left hand side which are like gleaming white and the stones that I just put down is still dirty because it's still mixed with um, a lot of the soil. So I'm going to come back in and try and wash a little bit of it off. Um, but I just want you to just get a visual. So leave me a comment down below if you think this will be a good idea. Um, once we get all of the lavender in there and having it spill over, I just think that it's going to look really pretty. Okay, so thank you so much for watching, guys. Leave your comments down below. I really look forward to discussing um, what we're going to do here on the side yard. I am going to be doing a quick project review so that you can see all the projects that we've accomplished thus far in this channel. So have, if you haven't already subscribed, I hope that you do and join me back here for the next video. Thanks so much for your support and have a good day.
Okay.